Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Latoya and I would love to have you be a part of my ever-growing band of misfit toys. Today's video is going to be a short one because if you haven't guessed already, I'm going to be doing a lip swatch video. I have the new Fenty lip products, so if you would like to see what those are like, then please keep watching. I'm gonna be swatching and giving you a first impressions of the new lip range by Fenty Beauty. They're called the Slip Shine sheer shiny lipstick that is quite a mouthful can you imagine saying that a bunch of times I'm gonna go on the Fenty site to give you some information about this lip product it is sheer as the name suggests it retails for $22 there are 10 shades I got six out of the ten I was gonna get all ten but I was like I don't like all ten of them by what I saw from swatches online I decided to get the colors that appeal to me the most um, let's see about information. They're ultra comfortable sheer lipstick with the perfect amount of nourishing color and shine. Easy to wear. Shades no mirror needed. Uh, they are 100% cruelty free. They're 2.8 grams or 0 0.098 ounces. I really don't know how that relates to any other lip product. I don't really go by that when I purchase lip products because I don't go through lip products that quickly. So yeah, let's get into packaging. So it's the standard color for Fenty packaging, the black and the white, kind of like an artsy abstract vibe to it. Um, the component itself, I opened one of them and I haven't swatched any of them yet. It is gorgeous. I just love how like streamlined it looks. It feels really nice to hold. It is smooth. There's no like, I don't know, it's like a laminated material. Yeah, I would say that laminated and it has Fenty across the front. Then when you open it up, the Fenty Beauty logo is also on the inside component. And yeah, it is really pretty. Is there anything? There's no logo on the actual lipstick itself but that is fine i think for the other ones that i have the logo is on the very top of it um yeah so let's get into these lip swatches i am super excited i got a variety not because i felt like i had to but that's what i was drawn to let's get into these swatches i cannot get over the packaging they're like i don't know they're so pretty I'm really feeling them. Anyways, as I said, I got six of them. I got whole, like three nudes and the clear one. Why did I get the clear one? I don't know, but I'm gonna have foundation on my lips for each set of swatches because that's what I would use on a regular day when I'm applying any lip product. It doesn't matter what brand or what formula it is. That's just what I prefer. Let's uh, zoom you guys in so you can get a closer look. That is up close and personal. You can see a bitch's pores. I'm gonna first go in with Quartz Candy. This is the clear one. Like, it's gonna be clear, I guess. Let's see how this looks. I'm gonna roll it down because I don't want it to break off or anything. This smells delicious. It smells like candy. That is quartz candy. I cannot get over this smell. I love it. This has a really nice pearlescent uh, sheen to it. I didn't think that I would be into it, but it's like the perfect... I don't know, gl gloss without being a gloss so your hair probably won't get stuck in it or anything like that. This was, this is a sleeper right here. I did not expect to like it as much as I do. It is really nice, super comfortable. It's not gritty. The scent is divine. It's not too overwhelming if you have an issue with scents. Like I said, it smells like like lollipops. I don't know how to describe it. You know like those spiral lollipops that are like 25 cents or something and they're multicolored, like rainbow colored? Those lollipops, if you know what I mean. If you know, you know. That is the first 
color. I'm not going in any particular order. I'm just grabbing as I go. Next up is Make Out Break. This is super little here. Ooh, I was really excited for this one. It looks like it's gonna be the perfect nude. Let's have a look. I want to eat these things. I cannot get over, I know that sounds a little bit crazy. I cannot get over how amazing they smell. So that is Makeout, what is it? This is Makeout Break. It is a really pretty color. It is a nice nude, I like it. Let's see what it looks like with a brown liner. I'm going to go in with this liner by Makeup Forever. It is the shade Limitless Brown. That's what it looks like with the brown liner. Really nice nude. I love how much of a glossy look it has without having the thickness and stickiness of an actual gloss. It is super pretty. Yes, so far so good. If you wanted to see what it would look like with a lip liner, here it is. And I'm sure you could pair it with like a red lip liner or more maybe a burgundy lip liner and kind of give it a more pink ombre effect. This is more of a brownie nude and I'm really liking it. Here is a, another nude color. There were actually about three or four in the range, I feel. Well, that would be nudes for me. This is the shade Retro Rose. This is kind of like my lips, but better. Oh my God, I love this color. This is the perfect everyday color. If you just want a wash of color on your lips, it definitely is my lips, but better. Again, this is Retro Rose. I love it, it is so, pretty. This one has a little bit of sparkle to it and so did Quartz Candy. Makeout break, however, I don't think that I saw any shimmer in it. I will swatch them all on my arm at the end so that you could see what they all look like together. And yeah, that's it for this one. Yeah, it's another nude. This is the shade Glazed. You see that? It looks just like Retro Rose. Actually, Retro Rose, Glazed, and another one, I think it was Goji Berry maybe, or Goji something, looked very similar to each other, so I didn't know which to get out of the three of them. I got these two, let's see how it goes. This one has melted a little bit. It's super hot here in New York, so I'm literally not surprised. Store them in a cool place because they can melt. That is glazed. This is different from the other two. Makeout Break was more of a nude. Retro Rose was my lips but better. And this one is like a pale pastely type of pink, but not stark or anything that is like a little bit crazy. Will I keep this one? I don't know. It's nice, but it's nothing special about it. I don't think that it enhances my lips in any way. It's kind of just there. Well, as of right now, I don't know. I would have to look back to see what it looks like because I can kind of see, but I can't at the same time here, but I don't know. I would have to choose, I don't know, if I had to choose between this and Makeup Break, they're so different. I do like this one too. Oh God, what is wrong with me? So yeah, this is um, Glazed. Next is... <laughs> wow, this is going well for me. <sighs> that just fell. Next is 
Sugar Kiss. It is a hot pink. Don't know how this is going to go, but we will see. I tried to build that up as much as I could. This is an interesting color. Let's look at over here. I just wanted to pick a color that was a little bit out of my comfort zone and this definitely is that. I actually used to rock colors like this when Nicki Minaj made us think that it was cute and it was really like, I don't know. I don't know, this is kind of like, it's a Barbie pink, sugar kiss. I'm gonna go in with a lip liner and see if this does anything for it. This lip liner makes it a lot more wearable. It is not as in your face and kind of powdered donut type of look. It's pretty. It adds a subtle hint of color and it's super toned down with this lip liner, which I appreciate. I just don't know if I am going to keep this one. The other ones I'm pretty much sure about this one. I don't know, you let me know. So this is Sugar Kiss. Last but certainly not least is Tang Thang. That is another tongue twister. Look at that color right there. A really nice bright red orange. I am in love with this color. This is perfect for the summer. It's a really nice, vibrant red kind of orange. It's not quite red and it has enough orange to give a really great pop. Ooh, it is so pretty. It really goes great with my melanin and all that. So again, this is Tang Thang. That is it for the lip swatches. Let me just swatch these on my arms so that you can see all of them together and we will do final thoughts. These are all six of the shades from top to bottom. Ooh, it's a little bit hard to see. That is Quartz Candy, Makeout Break, Retro Rose, Glazed, Sugar Kiss, and Tang Thang. As far as glitter goes, the only one that I can see really that has glitter is the first one, which is Quartz Candy. You see it there? It's really an opalescent kind of a shade. The other ones, I can't see any uh, visible glitter. I think the deepest shade that they do have in the range does have uh, glitter in it as well, much like the quartz candy, but I don't know because I don't have that one. I really wasn't interested in it. They all have the same consistency. The price point, I guess, is in line with any other mid-range brand that you would see at Sephora or Ulta or a Macy's or something like that. The only con that I have about these are that you have to keep them in a super cool place because they... Um, are kind of soft. I feel like they're a little bit melted, which is understandable. It is hot as Hades in my room. It is hot as Hades in New York. It's just a lot. Uh, I don't know if they could have done something where the integrity of the formula wouldn't be changed if they were able to make it a little bit more solid, if you will. I'm not sure of the ingredients, nor am I a chemist, so I wouldn't be able to discern anything from that anyways. Probably has like oils and stuff like that, that have in an easy melting point. Um, as far as the colors, I love most of the colors. So Quartz Candy, this is a perfect no makeup. They're all perfect for no makeup, no makeup, but this, this is just great to check on. You literally do not need 
and mirror to put this on. I was really surprised by this clear shade, if you will. It really did a lot for my lips and I love it. It is pretty. Makeout Break is a really great nude for my complexion. I have my foundation references in the bar down below, so if you match me, then you would know how these would work for you, but this is the perfect nude for my complexion Makeout Break, and with a brown liner, it really adds a different dimension to it. Love it. Next is Retro Rose. Oh, my lips, but better. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love it. And then we have Glaze. Glaze is a really nice, um, subtle color. It has a little bit of, it's more pink than Makeout Break, and it's not as deep as Retro Rose. It's somewhere in between as far as that goes. It's a nice color. I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep that. Sugar Kiss. I'm just really not moved by it. It's just like, hmm, whatever, you know? And this one that I'm wearing, of course, you know that I love it. Tang Thang. It is super pretty. I am really glad that I tried these out. They're nice. Let me know if you're interested in trying them out. Have you tried them out already? They actually just came in today, so I'm not sure if many people got their hands on them. Maybe you're in a place where a Sephora is open and you could grab them really easily. I am not, and I am okay with that because the world is still crazy out here. All that was really up close and personal, but that happens sometimes over here at the Latoya Show. It's a little bit of nutty and a lot of fun. That is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you thought about this video, what you would like to see next. If you're not subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button right there. And while you're down there, click the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload my next video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.